Welcome everyone to another episode of Mozzie's Kitchen, where I cook nerdy food dishes. And today, we're making dragon eggs. Do you like chicken? Do you like bacon? Do you like both together? Well, come along and enjoy this one. First, we're going to start off with a boneless chicken breast. We're going to cut it almost all the way through horizontally, or what's called butterfly. Once that's sliced, you want to go ahead and cover it with saran wrap. Then, beat the holy bejesus out of it. Until it's flattened. Then we're going to want to put sliced ham, Swiss cheese, cream cheese. I smush it down so it's a little more compact. A sliced jalapeno on top of chicken and roll it. Then once the chicken is rolled like one of those delicious swirl cakes, you're going to want to wrap it in bacon. You shouldn't need to use any toothpicks. If you wrap it with enough bacon, it should just kind of hold itself together. Once you have all the eggs wrapped up, you can either cook them on the grill or in the oven. I chose to do so in the oven. If you cook them on the grill, you want to cook them at 350 degrees of indirect heat for 30 minutes or until the chicken is done. I'm going to turn them about every five minutes or so just to make sure it cooks evenly. If you're cooking them in the oven, you want to bake them at 375 degrees for 30 minutes or until the chicken is done. And if you want to help bake and get crispier, just make sure to turn them about halfway through. I baked mine a little bit longer just because I like bacon a little extra crispy. And there you have the dragon eggs. A quick and easy recipe for a protein that goes with most side dishes and even just by itself. One of my favorite things about this dish is that you can swap out the filling for almost anything you want. I like having the jalapeno because it gives it a little extra kick. If you want even more, you can add a spicier pepper. If you want to change the ham to prosciutto or pepperoni or really whatever you want, you can absolutely do so. I recommend the cream cheese because it just adds a little, little moisture, a little cream, obviously, to the filling. But if you have something, you prefer inside or maybe if you try this dish and make some different ingredients let me know in the comments down below thank you all for watching hope you have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one